Today we're looking at some more fastest Fall Guys speedruns. These are the current world records at the time of recording this video. Enjoy. This is the new Lily Leapers world record by Dino Duck Andy, and this is like the hundredth time that he's beaten the Lily world record. At this point, I don't even know if anyone else is ever gonna get it again. It feels like Dino Duck Andy just solidified it. He's gonna have the Lily record forever. If anyone can beat his record, I'd be very surprised. This is the ballpark world record. So obviously we had the power party update. This was one of the levels and look at this. I've actually seen this glitch already. You can literally just roll straight to the finish line. This level's broken. And now we have the glitchless ballpark world record. So I've actually never seen the fast path on this level because I always did the glitch too. So let's see what the fast route is without that glitch. Ooh, okay. Isn't that kind of a glitch though? He still skips like a big portion of the level. Yeah, he just did it again. So what classifies as a glitch then? That's actually kind of interesting to me because I mean, skipping to the finish line was obviously a glitch, but he's, he also skipped down to some portions of the level and those aren't glitches. I don't know. There's like a moderator who manages these world records. So I'm curious about like how all that works. And this is the downtime rush world record. This was the final round in the power party update, the bouncy bean time show. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of sad that the bouncy bean time show is gone because this was really fun. The power ups are definitely really fun. I mean, you can still play them in creative levels with the code, but the bouncy bean time show is gone. I'm excited to, to get more power ups in this game too. Anyway, yeah, so far, this route is about the same as the route that I would take when I was playing. I haven't really seen anything too great. Ooh, he did a big jump without being in a ball position there. Okay, there were a few cool things at the end there. And this is the Frosty Frolics world record. Another level from the Bouncy Bean Time Show. And I think this was like first round usually, sometimes second round. No, actually, I think it was always first round, but yeah. These levels are so much fun to do. Okay, so you gotta go middle, interesting. So we had to get up and actually dive to reach that. Yep, I did that skip too. I think I was actually pretty good at these levels because from what I'm seeing, these world record runs are basically the same as what I was doing. Obviously way faster and way better, but this is the same as what I would do. This is the Lost Temple world record, and this got beat a couple months ago. It's kind of cool that a level this old is still getting beat in the world record, so let's see. How do you even beat the world record of this map? Is it just straightforward? It's gotta be straightforward from here, right? Because the more turns you make, the slower you are. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's already done. And then double dive, boom. Okay, yeah, that was clean. I don't know how you can beat that. That's probably the fastest path. This is the new puzzle path world record. I am so bad at this level. So let's see if I can pick up any tips. He ran really fast at the start there. I guess he got a lot of momentum from the slide. Okay, he does a little dive cancel. Wow, how do you get the wormhole that quickly? He's guessing, he has to be guessing. Nah, he's guessing, he's guessing, he's guessing, he's guessing. Bro, if you're actually paying attention to the path, nah, man, he's guessing, he's guessing, he's guessing. There's no way your brain works that quickly. If he's actually looking at the path to see which one is correct and he does it that fast, this dude is literal, literally Einstein. There's no way the human brain can think that quickly. He has to be guessing. Let me know in the comments, he's guessing, right? There's no way, that's... There's no way. This is the Slime Climb New Physics world record. So apparently, I guess the record is unbeatable with the new physics. So this is the new physics world record. It's like a separate category, I guess. But he's still gonna do basically the same skips, I'd imagine. Oh, I see why it's new physics. Okay, so if you go back, that's kind of interesting, actually. So this one, this green like bouncer here, you used to be able to bounce up from it and you could go all the way to that slime over there. So I think the reason why there's a separate new physics world record is because ever since season four, these things don't bounce you anymore. You basically just land on them and they do absolutely nothing. So that skip is literally not doable anymore. So the old physics world record is unbeatable. You can only beat this separate category new physics world record. So that's actually pretty interesting. This is one of the only new physics world records I've reacted to. And it gets the Edis clean. And yes, yeah, similar to the last one, this is the Slime Scraper new physics world record. 
So I guess, yeah, a lot of the skips on these levels are not possible anymore ever since uh, Mediatonic changed the physics of Fall Guys. So, yeah, uh, some of these skips are not doable. You could do the punching glove skip, uh, but I think this laser skip up here you can't do either anymore, right? Maybe you can? No, you can't. Okay, there used to be a laser skip back there where you could launch straight to the ending, and you can't even do that. So let's see what he does up at the ending. He's gonna take the flippers, okay. Hmm. I feel like this record is beatable. I feel like this is definitely beatable. The, the new physics record. That was clean, but I think it's beatable. This is the new Party Promenade World Record by production. So I'm assuming he's- Oh, he's gonna get the head skip? Okay, nice. Head skip at the beginning, and I'm assuming he's gonna do the balloon skip, right? I've actually been getting pretty good at this one. The balloon skip? I can actually do this too. So he drops down. Yep, down to that pipe, goes through. Is there any other crazy skips? Oh, he got the god pipe. Like, you land right onto that platform. Okay, that's really good. Very, very clean. And then you see spam jump. You go really fast on that conveyor. Yeah, I know most of these, but I am still working on the balloon skip. Like I said, I can do it, but I'm not super good at it. And you dive straight to the ending of the pipe. Clean. This is the Pillar Promenade World Record by Dino Duck Andy. I barely remember the Pillar Promenade level at all. I mean, obviously this is a creative level, so it was probably in the show selector at one point, but I barely remember this level. All right, so you gotta get a hammer skip. Also, this clip is kind of low quality. It's not on YouTube, it was posted to another website, so that's probably why. There you go, goes to the conveyor, and he's already done. Nice. That's a cool run, but I do not remember that level at all, to be honest. This is the new Boom Blaster Trial world record. I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the hardest creative levels I've played. It was one of the first to come out in SS4. Like when creative first came out, this was one of the first levels. And it's still, to this day, very difficult. I think I've only beat it like twice, and I struggled a lot each time. So e even just getting a clean speed run at all in this level is impressive, let alone getting the world record. That middle skip was clean and he's already done. All right, this is the firewall finale world record. I'm actually pretty good at this level. Usually when I get it, I win, although I don't think it's in solo show anymore. I'm pretty sure it's been vaulted for a long time now, but when it was out, I was pretty good at it. So you get a boom blaster skip there. Here we go. He has to watch out for those. Skip straight to the block. Nice, very clean. Onto the log. Yeah, this is basically the same path that I would take, but this is definitely done a lot better. And you just go middle, right? Or does he go side? Yeah, no, he goes middle. Okay, middle's definitely faster. Okay, this is, uh, yeah, this is very clean. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this record is very difficult to beat because this level's very straightforward. There's not really any skips. You kind of just do the same thing every time. Same exact path. The record is probably like millisecond difference, but that was clean. This is the new Pixel Hearts world record. Fun fact about this level, I actually had the Pixel Hearts world record for a little while. I remember I got the record like the first few weeks of season four, but then my record got beat. This is one of the only Fall Guys world records I've had. But let's see if he does this, you know, better than I did. I mean, obviously he did, but let's see if there's any like cool skips. I know there is a skip up here. I, well, it's not really a skip, but it's just a lot of momentum on these conveyor belts. So you can do like spam jumps. Okay, yeah. So if you spam jump on these conveyors, they don't push you back. You can actually speed through them very quickly. And yeah, that was clean. This is the new Slide Showdown world record. Another OG creative level. Oh, what? His feet kind of slid on the ground for a second there. That was cool. Yeah, what? Okay, there's some mechanics in this one that I'm not familiar with. He's getting a lot of weird momentum tricks. But this is very clean so far. This is by V Money as well. He's a pretty good, well-known speedrunner in the community. Right, he's going middle. What does he do here? Okay, simple, nothing crazy. I'm not gonna lie, the beginning of this level was the most impressive. Just of all the momentum that he was getting on the ground. I don't know how he did that stuff. But yeah, this ending part is pretty straightforward. Just do the dive cancels and finished. This is the new Treetop Tumble Time Attack world record. I haven't watched a Time Attack record in a long time. And also, whatever happened to Time Attack? We haven't had any Time Attack shows in the show selector in so long. Oh, he just falls off? Whoa, what? 
How are you able to just spawn at the end like that? Okay, that's weird. But not gonna lie, side note, I really hope that like Time Attack comes back. I'm talking about as a public show, because it's been a long time. Also, you know what they should add? Speed slider trials. Like if we can have a, a time attack speed slider, that would be so cool because speed slider has become a very well-known speed run level ever since SS3. So that's something we definitely need. Media Tonic, if you're watching this, please add speed slider time attack. All right, this is interesting. This is the new Tundra Run non-vaulted world record. So basically there was a variation of Tundra Run from SS2 and it had a bunch of crazy stuff like hex tiles and all these different obstacles and it allowed for a way faster speed run which means technically the level itself is not beatable anymore because that old SS2 variation is completely vaulted so this is the non vaulted world record so he's going as fast as he can with the current versions of Tundra Run that exist and yeah that was pretty clean that took the entire speed run for me to explain it. Wow. Thanks for watching and remember, this is not my main channel. You're currently watching my other channel, Stentric Reacts. So if you could just check to make sure you're subscribed to this channel, I would really appreciate it. There's more videos to come.